Hi everyone, it's Sam and I'm going to be filming my biggest Timu haul and I'm really excited about sharing this haul with you because there's a really nice range of products here and I'm just going to get started. The first thing is this toiletry bag. It says flash bag on the front. It's pink. It has a nice handle and you could fit a lot of stuff in here. The one that I have currently right now, it's just too bulky and it's the type that has the flap that closes in the front and you could put stuff in that flap um, but it's just I don't know I don't like it that much so I'm gonna try this one the quality is not that good and I did that thing where you look at the pictures that Timu provides and it looks so beautiful and very nice um, unfortunately this didn't hit the mark but it's still gonna work pretty good uh, next product is related to that and it is the drawstring makeup bag and I've been wanting one for a long time way before I even ordered from Timu um, I picked this print because I figured if I spill stuff or things get loose or whatever um, it will look it won't look that bad I don't know there were other prints that were cute but I decided to go with this one. Oh, when you open it sorry when you open it there is a pocket right there and then there's two zippered pockets in the inside and you could fit maybe lipsticks or smaller makeup products and of course the drawstring is on both sides. I have a makeup bag and I'll show you the one that I'm currently using. It's from Sonia Kashuk. Unfortunately, to use the bottom two, you have to close the top part, the top compartment because then things just spill out and that's not always so great when I'm trying to apply makeup. Next we have a purse and I picked this brown one and I love the straps to this because it matches the bag. It's a wide strap. You could wear it cross body and sometimes with bags like this with the detachable straps, the straps kind of look are like a funky print or something. I just like it plain. There's two big zippered pockets in the front and then when you open it it has a really nice print and then another big pocket and then a zippered pocket which I appreciate in a purse. Next product is so this is for the top of your headphone. It looks like a banana holder uh, but it goes on that part right there and I you know apply hair products. I have a super oily scalp. Sometimes I put gray coverage you know products for your hair and that could stain the headphones and since those are pretty expensive headphones that I got from the Amazon Prime deals uh, or Prime Day I figured I would get this um, I didn't realize this product existed and it works really well it's gonna protect the this part of the headphone and I'm excited to have this then we have some household stuff here uh, I'm trying again another garlic press. The holes are bigger than I wanted to, but I think this will work really well to crush some garlic. Next is another uh, product similar. This is to cut green onions or scallions, and I think it could even work for herbs. And I don't love cutting green onions. Uh, I'm hoping this will make it easier to do. Another, the next product is this indoor bug zapper. It says two pack, but I only got the one. You're supposed to plug it in and then it emits a light that bugs are attracted to. Mostly gnats and fruit flies, mosquitoes. So I'm hopeful that that will work. We don't have a huge problem like that, but I do see, you know, fruit flies and around the plants there's a lot of flies, little, little tiny ones. Next is this portable oral irrigator or a water pick and I got the kind of like pearly white one. Looks like this. There's three speeds, soft, normal, pulse, and I have tested this out. Uh, not on my teeth, but in the, in the sink and it has a really nice pressure. Excited to use that. I've never had a water pick before. And then this is for the back of your cell phone, kind of like a pop socket. Um, it's so cute. I've been wanting this for a while and it's, <laughs> it's adorable. Come on. Uh, and then there's a bunch of car stuff that I got. The first thing here is for the inside of your windshield. That is probably one of the hardest areas to clean. I don't bother with it. It's, I, when I 
do want to clean it like there's a smudge it just leaves fingerprints and streaking so i thought this might come in handy it did come with an extra clock and it there's a way to keep this still i believe um but yeah you could just go from the inside and wipe your windshield next is a car mount and i've had a few of these but i've in the past i've gotten ones that are for the air vent and those i feel like degrade over time if you don't take them off every after each use um so i figured out to try this kind of like suction sticky thing and this was i believe the best selling one in terms of like car mounts or something like that uh so i'm gonna use that and i want to i want to get this because i want to put my phone up to film in the car once in a while and then another cleaning product is this mitt that you're supposed to use for dust right now i'm using that kind of like slime looking thing and that works pretty good but i thought i would try this as well and it's super super soft and then the last car product is are these two um I don't know what you call them, but they're supposed to prevent things from dropping in between, like, you know, the middle console. You put it between that and the seat. And I got two for each side. Oh, you know what? That wasn't the last card thing. This is the last card thing. This is if you have an emergency in the car and you need to go to the bathroom. And I've always wanted this. I'm also going to get the, the cup thing that you can use with water bottles and stuff like that. As a commuter, I... I'm just gonna feel better with this in in the car uh, so it looks like this and you open this up and you put it where you need to there's kind of a paper towel looking thing in there um, and you could use that cup thing with this as well but you could use this by itself and they give you instructions on how to use it and then you seal it up and throw it away I will definitely be putting that in my car before work starts again. If you don't know, I work in a school, so it's really important, I feel like, just to have that in the car, just in case. Next <laughs> is a sort of accessories. These items, when you see them, you're going to laugh because they're, there's no function to them. It's just pure fashion. <laughs> they're these kaleidoscope sunglasses, or not sunglasses, they're kaleidoscope glasses that you cannot see through. It makes almost gives you a headache and look how big <laughs> I can't um so I originally wanted just the white ones and here are the white ones <laughs> just so so silly um but these had been discontinued um and I saw these two pack and they were less than I think two dollars or something like that but so fun and then we're going to move on to kind of like skincare, um, makeup, products like that. Uh, the first is for the shower. It's a Turby Twist. Uh, my sister got this for me, actually. I didn't order it, but it's beautiful, right? I'm hoping it works as well as the original uh, Tur Turby Twist. The next product is something that I made a mistake over and I didn't check the right me measurements even though I have said in other team videos you have to be really careful and look at the measurements, look at the pictures, definitely the reviews. This item is way smaller than I thought it would be. Look at the box. If you can read that, it's, a LED, it's an LED compact mirror. And here it is. I got, I was in the search for not this small, actually I wanted it kind of this big. Uh, with lights is because I find that when going to hotels or Airbnbs you don't always get a mirror with lights to I never I've never gotten that actually um, but they don't provide like a nice space for you to do your makeup and I thought having this would be nice this is a nice product I have the light on already uh, but it's just smaller than I thought both sides are different magnifications one I mean one is regular and the other is magnified and it does sit up by itself, which is nice. It's just really, really tiny. I am going to use this. I'll put it uh, in my, maybe my work makeup bag. And then to move on to some other kind of skincare stuff, I got this, if I could find it. Where did you go? I got this eyebrow trimmer and it's a rechargeable one. Oh, there goes the cord there or USB uh, plug you take this off like this and then this button right here 
you use to trim and I thought it would be good for hard to reach eyebrow areas and then like kind of like around my chin or my lip just my whole face basically and then something similar to that if I don't want to use that machine all that tool all the time are these eyebrow razors and you get I got the three pack one but I just want to show you if I could take this off how small this is I find most of most facial razors are like this size but this one is less than half of that and I thought how perfect for right here and I won't have the fear of shaving off my eyelashes I'm so excited to use that actually uh, next is this ergonomic blackhead skin scrubber and I have a blackhead remover tool you know the big handheld ones um, unfortunately for my sensitive skin that's a little too rough I could do kind of the other places on my face but my nose it broke me out uh, so I decided to get a manual one and I thought this was it I'm like wow that's really thicker than I thought and then when I was opening that if this fell off and it's much thinner look at that I can't wait to use this I think I might use it later today when I take off my makeup and then Let's see. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, this is the Icon Sign Eyelash and Eyebrow Tint. Uh, eyelashes too, huh? This is what it looks like. And then it's really like a mini dye kit. So you get the developer, you get the hair color, you get the dye color, gloves, and two spoolies. And I have decent eyebrows I do have a little product in there the Anastasia brow whiz I tr was trying today and I just if I don't have to do my brows that would be perfect because I'm not good at it anyway I'm scared though because this is a color black I don't want to look <laughs> crazy but we'll try it out and see uh, and then I'll move on to let's see uh, some makeup removing stuff. Uh, this is an eye makeup remover. And I want to show you this packaging. Look how beautiful. I love this packaging. I think that's really cool. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's the type that has like, you know, the water um, and oil kind of look to it. I'm on the search for a great eye makeup remover. I'm hopeful that will be nice. Here is another, um, this is the Rose Essential Oil Cleansing Makeup Remover. And it came looking crazy. The cool thing about this though is it's magnetic. And I appreciate that because I have had a lot of products with come with spoons, but I don't know where the spoons end up. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, this product, I don't, it's, I think it traveled in the heat for too long. <laughs> I think it's still gonna be good it does have a strong rose scent to it so if you don't like that you won't like this um, but yeah I like bombs and I well I like oils and then bombs are my second favorite way to remove makeup I also got this is if you know you know what this is trying to copy um, but I wanted to I love snail products Sam Mucin or Mucin. This is pretty liquidy. Um, and it has a nice, nice sweet scent to it. Uh, and then another, uh, I think I might use this for nighttime because it seems a little bit thicker. This is the Gold Collagen Powerful Anti-Aging Cream for face and eyes. Face and eyes. Okay. And this is what this product looks like. Really thick and beautiful. And then we're going to move on to, last but not least, makeup products. I got another um, mascara set. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to buy mascaras anymore. Um, I just, I haven't had the best look, but I did want to get this one and then there's another one I'm going to share with you so this is the packaging Gigi Bear I love their lip glosses and I did I have something else from them um 
I feel like there was something else, but I can't recall. Um, I love the GG Bear lip gloss, and I'm hopeful this comes, this is the fiber, and this is the mascara, and I will show you what the brushes look like. And the packaging is just so beautiful. So here is the wand for that, and I am excited. I feel like the brush is good. The formula doesn't look too wet. And then this is the fibers. This is so interesting. There's literally fibers, or it looks like hairs on there. I guess that's technically what it is. And I don't, it's dry. Is this supposed to be dry? I'm not sure. Um, so can't wait to try that. Very curious about that. And then the other mascara is this Weehee Beauty Great Lash Waterproof. 24 hours. And this reminds me of the CoverGirl mascaras. My favorite is the CoverGirl Lash Glass. It looks super similar. Um, and again, I can't wait to try it. It says waterproof. There was a couple of mascaras that said they were waterproof, but they're not. Or they don't, they're, the formula is, doesn't hold my curl. And that's what's most important to me. Okay, next. I tried this concealer again. This is the Softly. I love the formula, but the color, the, I got it in medium and it was way too yellow. Um, this one is a natural. And it looks like this. I'm going to swatch it. It's still too yellow. But can you see the coverage on that? It's amazing. But I'm going to blend it out a little bit. And then I'll show you once it's dry and oxidized, which doesn't take too long. Uh, next is this lip product. And I had mentioned in the makeup video, I don't have a lipstick. So I got this Tia Sun Charming Matte Lipstick. This is the packaging. Very cute. And here's the product. It's just a jumbo lip pencil. I don't like this color. Um, I wish I had picked another one. I feel like this color doesn't match what was in the what was in the uh, product images. But I'm just gonna show you. Oh, you know what? I have some lip product on. But can you tell? It's more like a nude lipstick, and I thought it was gonna be like a tea rose color. I'll show you. It is kind of like a tea rose color, but it doesn't work well on my lips because I think my lips are more pigmented anyway a little bit disappointed but it feels okay and I might try another color or maybe Dutch just forget about it <laughs> uh, next is this interesting product this is the Miss Laura highlighter and does it tell you the color white flash uh, so this product is very interesting I don't think it works um, I try to so it's a huge, <laughs> it's a huge, like, it looks like a huge eyeshadow, like, you know, from CoverGirl or something, eyeshadow uh, applicator. Uh, and you're, I, I, I guess you're supposed to go like this, but nothing is happening. There is some color, but I don't know if it was just loose that had come out when I opened it. I don't know if you're supposed to squeeze it. I feel like it's kind of like... Where is this? One of these things where it's hiding? I don't know. I would like to take this off and get some of that product out so I could test it. I'll figure it out. I don't know. But it doesn't work right now. Okay, the next product I want to share with you is this Julia Pop Liquid Blush. And the color is number 6. I got this because it looked very similar to the Glossier, uh, what is it, Cloud Paint? Uh, for their cheeks and it does look very similar but after trying it I don't think the consistency is the same there's the color um, and I'm just going to show you uh, without it being swatched but it's very pretty and I've been into liquid cream blushes lately and then I think was there any more I just want to do I think that was it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Timu haul. Let me know if you, what you have been getting from Timu, what I should check out. Even though I am on a hiatus from shopping there, I could always put it on my wish list. I am excited to start using this stuff. I haven't really used it. I initially took pictures and put up my reviews on Timu and then put put it away. Oh, you know what? I knew I was going to miss something. It's right in front of me. Um, I did get two jewelry pieces and this was the first time that I've gotten jewelry from them. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but the 
uh, the reviews and the actual pictures look really nice and I was pleasantly surprised. These items, I got two necklaces, they're very similar. This one is, there's a bigger chain and then a smaller one and it looks really really nice I like again like I said um, pleasantly surprised by the quality and the way it looks because they were both I think less th this one was a dollar or something like that another one was like two dollars uh, but again very similar to that first one but very very impressed by uh, these two jewelry pieces that I might get more jewelry from them okay that is officially the end of my haul. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.